In 2086, two peaceful aliens journeyed to Earth, seeking our help. In return, they gave us the plans for our first hyperdrive, allowing mankind to open the doors to the stars. We have assembled a team of unique individuals to protect Earth and our allies. Courageous pioneers committed to the highest ideals of justice and dedicated to preserving law and order across the new frontier. These are the adventures of the Galaxy Rangers. Check this out. I'm getting a visual on a long-range scanner. A large object, 75 sectors outside of the solar system. No radio, no lasers, no heat, nothing. Too big to be a battle cruiser, and it appears to be drifting. Course projection indicates rendezvous, Earth. There's something else. Anti-matter pods. And a detonator. Transmit all data to Commander Walsh at Beta Mountain. Sir, as you can see, the object is 10 miles in diameter and headed for Earth. Deep space scan shows an antimatter detonation device on board. Does not respond to hailing on any frequency in any language. It's the size of a small moon. A gift from the Queen of the Crown? A bomb of that size could destroy this entire planet. I want the Galaxy Rangers out there immediately. I wish we could study this artifact. An object that size could house some incredible secrets. Well, on Zozo, you will accompany the Galaxy Rangers. But that intruder is not to reach Earth. Cleared for takeoff, Galaxy Rangers. Good luck, team. Alma, coordinate our flight plan with Ranger 1. All set, Goose. visual range. There it is. We copy. Doc, try a full spectrum scan. Right. Scanner's on. Magnificent. Look at the size of that thing. Let's not forget what we're dealing with. Yeah, the largest bomb ever built. No reply to our signals. It's silent as a tomb. Scanners show no life forms. It's just drifting. Going in for a closer look. <laughs> Looks like the station was playing possum, Captain. Goose, be careful. It must have some automatic defenses. It's open to landing bay. Shall we accept their invitation? Goose, proceed with caution. Roger. Station must be pre-programmed. These power surges should lead us to the master computer. Life support systems are still functioning. 
There's an Earth standard oxygen nitrogen atmosphere. Galaxy Rangers, move out. I wonder how old this thing is. Nico, can you use your power on the station itself? I'll give it a try. This station is thousands of years old. It was sent drifting through space when the planet it was orbiting was destroyed. There's no one left here. <laughs> Welcome! Welcome, fellow Enolans. It is I, Speck. We are all waiting for you. I thought you said this place was deserted. These are not real life forms. Maybe they're ghosts. Now, Zozo, don't be ridiculous. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. Step aside, my goose man. Would either of you lovely ladies care to dance? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Huh? They're nothing but holograms. Wow, that looks like fun. A foolish waste of time, if you ask me, Zozo. Still... It is an interesting example of a unique alien custom, obviously the product of a highly advanced culture. Oh boy, my turn! Hey, bartender! I am so glad you have finally returned from Enola. Listen, we're not from Enola. Oh no, then you are the enemy. Take it easy, Spec. I must complete my function. Ghosts! They're all ghosts! Calm down, Zozo. There are no such things as ghosts. <laughs> Invaders! Beware! Beware! Watch it! This station's haunted. Zozo, I've had enough of your superstitious nonsense. On Andor, even the smallest child knows there's no such thing. Zozo? Wait for me! Come back here, you little kiwi! Nico, Captain, can you hear me? Move it, Doc! Well, somebody's having a good time. Too bad it's not me. Fighting ghosts wasn't in the Galaxy Ranger job description. Ghosts? <laughs> You're as bad as Zozo. That's right, I'm bad. I hope you see what I see, Goose Man. This is impossible. We're inside a space station. I've never seen such detailed holography. We've got to find the others. Find the others? How are we going to find our way out of here? Zachary, over there. Incredible. See if you can get any impressions. Nico, stay close. Zachary, where are you? Nico! Oh! Nico, don't move! More holograms. Oh! The armor's real, but it's hollow. A robot? No, there's nothing inside of it. Ah! 
It must have been guided by remote control. Come on, let's get out of here. I simply cannot run another step. Me neither. I don't care if the ghosts do get me. Now look here, Zozo. You know there must be some kind of logical explanation for all this. Yeah? Ghosts! I refuse to believe such a foolish notion. It is complete and utter nonsense. Hmm, interesting. Stay close, Sozo. We don't want to get separated. Now let me see. History of the planet Enola. It figures. Give him a book and he forgets about everything else. No such thing as ghost. Hmm. Huh? Quiet, Zozo. Listen to this. Hey, yo, hoo-ha! Zozo? <laughs> Zozo! Now, where could that little kiwi be? I told him not to wander off. Zozo! Zozo! Don't leave me here all alone. Help, help! Zozo! Where are you? Over here, behind the wall. Now, how did you get in such a predicament? Whoa! Boy, that was scary. Thanks for freeing me, Waldo. No, no. Waldo, where are you? Hmm, it's about time. The things I go through for you. It's not my fault that this space station is haunted. Zozo, how many times do I have to tell you there are no such things as ghosts? It's all illusions and tricks. Astonishing. Another secret passageway. If only we had some light. Thanks, Zozo. That's much better. <laughs> Zozo, what are you trying to say? <laughs> Ghost! Ah, help me! Zozo, something's on my head! Where? I don't see anything. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Not another word about this station being haunted! <laughs> I'm warning you! <laughs> Zozo, I fear something strange is happening. <laughs> Ghosts! Yeah! We've looked everywhere. There must be some way out of here. Ooh, ah! This place is driving me batty. Darn varmints. <laughs> Another hologram. Look at the bright side. The hollows can't get much worse. Hmm? Goose, you not! Get down! Get funky! I've had enough of this garbage. Come on, Spec. Give me a little charge! brighter than you look. The energy drain should dampen his spirits. This way, Doc. You can't be serious. He is. Here we go. Huh? More fun and games. Any sign of the detonation device? Too much interference. I can't tell what's inside. Be careful. <gasps> They're just an X-ray projection of us. Up there. <laughs> I've had enough. Show yourself.
We're through playing these games. Take us to our friends. This way. This place must be controlled by a central computer. If I could just get my fingers on that central mainframe. This cloth was torn from Waldo's tunic. Goose, you're a superhuman bloodhound. <clears throat> my goose man, what will he do without me? Goose! Waldo! Zozo! Nico! Zachary! Can anybody hear me? What do I do now? Maybe I should just wait here and see if anybody shows up. Whoa! What have we here? Hmm? Hmm. At last. Maybe now I'll get to the bottom of this. Greetings. Spec, you chip off the old bite. What's the story here? I am the supreme creation of the ancient Enolan civilization. Programmed to complete my last function, I regret. Last? What is it? I must protect Enola. I am a doomsday device, and my function is to destroy your planet. Why? We are not your enemy. My purpose is to preserve peace. Only Enolans can alter my program. This has not been done. Now I must complete my last function. There are no Enolans left to protect. Spec, you've been waiting to destroy an enemy that doesn't exist. I don't want to hurt you. I tried to frighten you away, but you wouldn't leave. I must complete my function. It's too late. Nothing can be done. Nothing. You must release my friends. Tripwire, old buddy, do your worst. Let me at it! You can't stop the timer, even with your magic. Quiet, the doctor is operating. How about it, Tripwire? This thing's gonna blow, Doc. I can add a loop to the timer program. That would slow it down. It's the best I can do, Doc. That feels much better. Thank you for visiting me. It's been real. The landing bay is at the end of the corridor, but you must hurry. What about you, Spec? I will complete my function. Goose, there isn't enough time to get out of range. We'll have to jam sync the hyper shunts. Pre flight codes locked. Ignition. Hyper flux ready for jam sync. Ready to make the jump. Not enough flux charge. Not yet, Zack. Okay. Punch it! Goodbye, Spec. Spec's countdown. It started so far from Earth. He must have triggered it early, before entering our system. What a waste. Think what we could have learned from that computer. Poor Spec. Programmed to destroy. Spec sacrificed himself to save us. And everyone in the galaxy will see that explosion, like a newborn star, with a message of peace.